Hey, I gotta show you guys something. Um, we got a couple projects going on here at the house that we're trying to do. And um, I try to help my husband out as much as possible. Um, I got First, I gotta show you this bathroom he's building because um, he has done like everything on it. Um, I can't, I don't even, I can't turn this video around while I'm on it, I guess. Anyway, so this is what he has done and he is working on getting this bathroom complete and it's taken a while, but you know, when you work full time and, and stuff, you just don't have a whole lot of time to work on things at home. So plus when you don't get two days off together, it's kind of hard. So then the other thing that we've got going on also is this little closet here. And um, it is gonna be like a little cubby to my office. And um, so uh, I'll turn this light around, I'll show you. And so anyway, see, there it is. And my husband said he was gonna use the extra scrap drywall for, to, uh, put on the inside of this closet so when we get this done then this door right here is going to come off and then they'll be, it's this will be a little a little cubby for my office because I work from home but anyway I figured you know how hard can it be to to hang drywall you know especially when they're in small pieces so I was like okay let me see what I can do for him I mean, I helped him with building the walls to the bathroom in there, but that was just the framework of it, the two-by-fours and stuff. So I was like, you know, drywall, drywall can't be that hard. I mean, it's heavy if you have to work with big pieces, but, you know, you score it and pop it and cut it, and, and it's really not that hard. I mean, I've watched him do it. I can do it. You know, so I managed to piece together this wall, which he's probably not going to be happy about because I've already told him that... He said, I didn't mean those little bitty pieces. I said, well, it's already up now. So now I was trying to put pieces of two by fours up and I don't have enough strength to do it. So now I'm at a dead stop because I don't have anything for the drywall to go into. But anyway, the screws I was using first to start hanging the drywall, they were going in real nice easy and I was like oh I got this I got this but then I ran out of screws so I went down to ask him if I could get some bigger use the bigger pieces of drywall he's like that's what I wanted you to use to begin with and I was like oh no I thought you meant the small pieces so I was like okay well now that I got more drywall I can keep going I just got to go down and get some more drywall screws and he was like there's plenty at the house in the bathroom and I was like no I ran out of them and he was like, no. And I said, yeah. I said, in that little box. I said, with the red tip. I said, I was. he's like, those aren't drywall screws. And I was like, oh. Well, I, I used all of those. He was like, go in the bathroom, get the drywall screws, and, you know, we'll be fine. And I was like, well, now all I got to do is just mud the rest of that whole wall there. And that'll, you know, be ready to paint. He's like, don't mud the wall I'll do it and I was like well okay if you want to so anyway my point of this video is is that when I finally found the drywall screws they didn't work I don't like those drywall screws as well as I like the other screws now I don't know what kind of screws those are I really don't care what kind of screws they are they were working pretty well and um I kind of liked them but they weren't drywall screws so I don't know if, I don't know what kind of difference that's going to make but the drywall is not coming off so anyway my point of this video is I'm by no means a construction worker contractor or anything else I'm about to die I haven't had a shower day or nothing and I just wanted to let you guys know if your husband is trying to accomplish something at the house work on something build something whatever to improve your home don't bitch Unless you got a degree in it or, or, or that's what you do is your job and you're a woman and you can do it, by all means, knock yourself out. But if you don't have a clue as to what is going on, such as myself, shut the hell up. Don't bitch. I mean, I, the little bit of work I've done today, I feel like I'm going to die. So that was my point of this video. 
If you don't know what to do, shut the hell up. I'm just telling you, I'm, I have, I, I, I feel like I've worked a week, a week straight on hanging just like maybe, I don't know, two by two and a half foot square of drywall, piecing it together, and here I am kind of feeling pretty proud about it, and at the same time going, fuck this, I don't want to do this for my job. So if your husband is trying, or significant other, or whatever, is trying to do something at your home, don't bitch. Because if he can get it done, let him get it done. But, you know, unless you want to get in there and try and do it yourself, I wouldn't be bitching. I would not be bitching. I try really hard not to bitch at him about this stuff. I was just trying to help him out. But let me tell you, I learned a quick lesson. It takes a whole lot of shit to get this stuff done. So if I ever have bitched and complained to you, Eric, I am so sorry. I love you to death. But I'm, this is just like an FYI, you know, public service announcement, trying to give y'all a heads up on any kind of construction project at your house. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, don't bitch. Just don't. Because if you got stuck doing the work by yourself, if you're anything like me, you'd be screwed. Because I would not be able to do near the stuff that he has done around here. I was just trying to help him out. And I'm I'm ready I'm ready to take a shower and take a nap. So anyway, I hope you all have a good day and uh love each other, be kind to each other. You never know when someone needs a friend. And I will talk to y'all later. Love you guys. Bye.